Sponsor Crunch Army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. You know, if you're feeling demotivated today or you're just feeling a lack of support with your dream, and your motivation guy has your back, all right? You know, let's be honest here, Bunch of Crunch Army. Like, it's really frustrating when you're putting the time into Fortnite, you know, and you just feel like you're not getting better. Do you feel like this? You know, maybe you're grinding out edit maps. You know, you're practicing your aim. You're doing all the stuff that you should be doing to improve, and you're not getting any better. You know, so this video is gonna cover everything that you need to know, you know, in order to really escape and get out of this hole so you can start getting better like never before. And uh, speaking of improving quickly like never before, make sure to check out ProGuys.com to get linked up with the pro player who can teach you guys all the ropes. And if you're looking to find areas to improve, then you got to check out our new VOD review service, man, where you can simply just send in a video of your gameplay and one of our pros are going to analyze it. They're going to give you guys the best methods to improve. It's going to save you time and it's going to help you reach the next level. All right. With that being said, bunch of crunch on me. Let's get this going. So for the first telltale sign that you're struggling to improve is if you seem to be losing to the same players over and over again. Is this you? You know, oftentimes you're gonna notice these patterns with someone that you play with often, like a friend you play in one of the ones or even like who gets away with more kills than you in a game. Either way, like if you're continuously falling behind the same exact players, then there's definitely an underlying issue that we've got to figure out. One thing is for sure, like in this situation, there's definitely a practice issue and it may or may not be, you know, coming down to one particular issue. So if you feel like you're losing consistently to a particular person, then our recommended course of action is to simply vibe review your games against them and just see what you're doing that's giving them this edge. You know, most of the players who consistently beat you in the game aren't doing anything spectacular. Like, the majority of the time, they're just exploiting your weaknesses. So if you could just figure out which weaknesses they're taking advantage of, you can just fix the issue and just start beating them. If it turns out it's not one particular issue and they're just really just outplaying you, then I strongly recommend continuing to just 1v1 and just play with that player as just playing with better players is a great way to improve as well. Alongside, like with all the practice that you're doing. Okay, and speaking of your VOD reviewing, to find your mistakes once again, like feel free to ask one of our coaches on ProGuys.com who can really guide you through, like help you not only find your weaknesses, but improve on them. So the second issue you may be noticing that represents a bigger issue in your gameplay is a consistent loss of arena points. If you're the type of player who cares a lot about arena and just uses it as a form of practice, which I strongly recommend doing, then losing points is probably very demotivating for you. Typically, losing arena points means you're in one of two situations. Either you're making certain mistakes that are just holding you back or you're just too high in points for your own good. The first situation is a bit easier to fix. Like once again, you can feel free to VOD review just to spot your mistakes right or just simply practice through repetition to really improve. What I always recommend you guys do is to start W King in solo arena to just improve your fighting skill. As an alternative, you can just W key until the second or third zone, you know, rack up a few kills and then just play for end game and then just try to get the win. On the other hand, you may simply have too many points for your own good. The truth is this, man. A lot of us, if not the majority of us, are able to reach Champions League if we just camp it out and just play super passive. However, quite obviously, that's really just inflated points. There's really no reason to just grind your way up in points if you're not actually skilled enough to really keep up with those players in the first place. So what I would recommend doing is this. Simply playing aggressive and just adapting to the new types of fights that you're gonna run into at your arena level. If you lose points, then you're gonna be matched up with players closer to your level and you'll have a better overall experience. And you know, if you gain points then, well, I guess you're doing good. All right, third up, we've got an issue that many players face and that's either a regression or, you know, a simple plateau in mechanical skill. So basically what happens to a lot of us is that we're practicing our mechanics a, a decent bit, but we're just not really getting better, right? Building and editing may feel clunky and delayed and overall your mechanical and fighting skill just isn't quite up to par compared to what it should be. Unfortunately for this issue, there's not really a one-stop solution that's really just going to instantly make it better, okay? Instead, it's gonna mostly come down to improving your practice itself. So you may be doing your mechanical practice like you should, but not necessarily doing enough of it. This results in a lack of progress due to the simple fact that you're really not putting the work in. To reach the top level, it takes a lot of grind and it takes a lot of effort. 
So you're really gonna just have to focus up, put in the time and just be efficient with your practice just to see the most improvement mechanically. Ultimately, if your mechanics aren't improving, start by just simply trying to make your practice more efficient. Instead of just messing around when you play, start taking your extra time just to grind out techniques and drills and maybe add a bit of extra practice time if you feel like doing so. This should help you really, really beat any plateau and really start improving so much faster when it comes to your building and editing, all right? Another major issue that a lot of players have relates purely to their aim. Whew. Many players are actually extremely confident with their building and editing and can pull out some really, really dope advanced techniques with ease. But when it comes to the final parts of the fight, they tend to just miss a bunch of shots and really just can't clutch, man. And the obvious solution to this issue is really just to train your aim on a consistent basis. But guys, I'm telling you right now, even 15 minutes of aim training per day before you hop on, it's gonna make a massive difference in your gameplay long term. Whether you prefer Kovacs and you know in-game maps like Skavux or some really good old fashioned aim duels, pretty much any form of aim training is going to really help you guys a lot. All right, so we've done a lot of aim videos here, and I mean like right here on the Pro Guys channel. So we're gonna pop in a few videos up on the screen so that you guys can just check it out. You know, if you're looking to learn a bit more about aim training. If you're looking to dive into aim training, then be sure to check out these videos once you finish up this one, all right? Finally, our last pattern that may be caused by an underlying issue is a lack of game sense. I'm sure we all know by now that game sense is pretty pretty important when it comes to being at a high level in Fortnite. If you have the awareness, if you have the strategy, right, and the rotational knowledge to really make it in high level lobbies, you're going to perform so much better than a player who doesn't. So, you know, a lot of us, you know, suffer from a lack of game sense. We can hit our edits, right? We can hit our shots, even be some really, really good players in fights. But when it comes to rotating, we always get focused on and we make silly mistakes that result in our death. Does this sound like you? I get it. Trust me. You know, if this does sound like you, then, then chances are your issue is being caused by one thing, and that's a lack of applicable practice. The truth is this, like most of us simply just play way too much creative and really don't have enough in-game practice to actually improve our game sense and knowledge. It's pretty frustrating, I get it, and the, really the main course of action that I recommend for you guys is to start playing as much arena as you can to improve your realistic fighting skill along with some rotational stuff like, you know, watching pro players to see how they handle certain game sense intensive situations and finally, VOD reviewing your gameplay. I'm gonna say it a hundred times, I don't care until you start doing it. <laughs> Either on your own or by getting a coach over on ProGuys.com to save some time and, you know, get yourself improving at the game, you know, that way. Those are all the most time proven methods to really, really prove your game sense that have been employed by pros since pretty much the beginning of Fortnite. All right, guys, with that being said, bunch of crunch army, that's gonna be it for five signs that you're not improving and how you can fix them. All right, guys, well, it's been fun as usual, but that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and sub to the channel for more of the best tips and tricks, you know, for content around. And don't forget to head on over to ProGuys.com and start working with one of our pro coaches today. Bunch of crunch army, where you at? I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.